Despite a big-time oil price rollback that took effect today, transport groups insist they will not withdraw their fair hike petitions. This as the DOTR head honcho orders the immediate release of payments for the service contracting program. Karen Villanda has this report. The big-time rollback in pump prices amounting to between 5 and 6 pesos per liter took effect today. This is the second week that oil companies have implemented a rollback for diesel. That's why this was the situation at the gas stations this morning. However, motorists still have mixed opinions. Mataas pa rin para sa minyon. Magkano ba ang ano na piso pa? Ako. Oo. Ito ka yan. Dahil hindi na traffic ngayon eh. Misan, isang oras. Tatak po kami, wala pa sa aero. Makatipid naman. Malaking tulong na siya. Despite the price rollback, the city and provincial bus group stood firm that they would not withdraw their petition for 5 to 7 pesos in additional fare for the first 5 kilometers. This group insisted that the price of diesel is still far from its previous price of only 48 pesos. Nag-double na po kasi ang price ng fuel, although ngayon is minus 6 pesos and 10. Nasa 81 pesos po ngayon ang per liter. Kaya wala po talaga, ang laki-laki ng diferensya po, 30 pesos po yung difference. Kaya halos uh, kung hindi man po doble, eh, nasa 80, 80% or 90% po yung, yung fuel uh, cost namin ngayon. It is statement that the DOTR said Transportation Secretary Jaime Bautista is scheduled to meet with city buses, particularly the bus consortium on EDSA Busway. This concerns the deployment of all 550 buses on EDSA Busway in preparation for the influx of passengers when classes open. But according to the bus consortium, this is a challenge for them because of the high price of diesel and that unpaid DOTR payments for the free rides are now in the millions. So the solution is to just reduce the bus unit. Ang pakiusap lang po namin sa bagong administrasyon kung pwedeng gumawa po sila ng paraan kung paano nila maa-update yung mga payout na matagal na. Uh, tapos po kung magsisimula dito ulit para hanggang December, meron na po sana silang system na para mapabilis naman po ang pagbabayad sa mga operator. Secretary Bautista earlier said that it would be resolved and he has already given a directive for the immediate release of the payments for the service contracting program of the DOTR. You have also to consider yung control, no? situate that tama yung binabayaran ng gobyerno sa kanila. No? Pero ang sabi ko is uh, talagang bayaran ka agad lahat ng uh, valid claims, let's pay immediately. So the, the fund is there, so there's no reason why uh, uh, this cannot be paid. Karen Villanta for The Nation.